okay? But when you come to put one in the middle, what you would do is, if you're building your blocks along, you'll see that that, that block's going to take it to there, and you bed that one in, okay? So, you can always spread the piers around from side to side of the wall for more stability. Don't have them all on one side, have them on both sides, okay? What you'll do, you should have a pair around approximately every six to eight blocks. You should have a pair, and then ideally you should stagger the pairs from one side of the wall to the other. However, you can see that the best way to do it is to put the pair on either end on the far side of the wall, so that way uh, the pair won't interfere with you putting up your line and running in the face walk. And then all the other pairs that go in between the wall, uh, in between the two ends of the wall, then you stagger them from one side of the wall to the other. I'm going to put this block on now, allowing for a mortar joint there. Okay? And I'll just check it with the tape to make sure it's 215. And now I'll have to check it for pump. You need to use either your bolt level or your. A big level, and you're just checking the force course for plug. The reason I'm moving it out is so that I can get the bottom out because the, the top half part had to go in. So I just want to get it plumb and still have my 215. around to get these pairs right but again a bit of time you spend to start getting them right the easier it is to build it when you're going up through the wall so again as I said don't put too much mortar into it so what happened then is you're building along on your neck on this course here this second course you get this far and then you just put your pair into the wall I've seen lots of examples of these piers where they're built and what people do is you'll build along, they cut a half block when they get to this point here, okay? And then they build the block straight on top of each other. And what's happening then is this wall here is totally independent from the pier. The pier is the same. The pier is just on its own. So it's not giving any support to it. This is the correct way of doing it. So at least the wall is tied into the pier. So to create the pier, he has one on its edge, up against the face of the wall, and then we put two on flat on top of it. Run the other blocks along it, and then when you have them done, they're built to the line, you just drop your line and just throw the block on top of that there. Okay? That's just, you don't have to build a pair into the middle of it, not the wall you're doing. I was just showing you how you tie it in. If it ever comes to a case that you're going to be doing the job like that, because it's very seldom you're going to get someone to ask you to build a wall probably about that length. So if you're doing anything a bit longer, that's how you tie the pair in the middle. Is that okay? Anybody 